block 12, practice one. What we're gonna look at now is utilizing exercises that allow us to use heavier weights. So a lot of times we'll actually choose unstable, uh, unstable positions, which lowers that weight, focuses more on balance and coordination. On this block, we're gonna to try to use positions or stances that allow us to use more weight by increasing our actual stability and give us more leverage so we go through movements. So A1 is gonna be a heels elevated hack squat. We're gonna grab two heavy dumbbells, go down for five reps with a 5-0-X-O tempo, and we're gonna load that up as big as we possibly can over the course of the four weeks. We're gonna pair that up with a split stance, so one foot forward, one foot back, dumbbell, one arm row. And that split stance, what that does, it gets us into more of a stable position so when we row. So a lot of times when we start to row, you see a lot of people rotate or torque, we're gonna take that out of the equation by getting a split stance. We wanna be strategic with when we do that because it does have opportunity to use more weight, but with that becomes with a little bit longer recovery. So now it's about pushing that strength level up, hitting more of a nervous system aspect. So hack squat paired up with split stance one arm row. And then we're gonna progress that into the B series. B1 will be a two dumbbell or kettlebell, dumbbell single leg RDL. Pair that up with a split stance again, creating more stability in that pelvis and that stance to grab a heavier dumbbell, single arm overhead press. And then we're gonna progress some of our stationary core exercises into a more upright. So we did a half kneeling suitcase hold. Now we're gonna get into a low split. So just like we would do in the bottom of the split squat, holding on to the heaviest kettlebell or dumbbell as possible and holding that for 15 seconds, relatively speaking to 30 seconds, so we can increase that weight, so we can get a little bit more challenge on that position.